Hello everyone, we're the Red Rock Wind Quintet, and we're here today to discuss what you would do during an actual rehearsal. Last time we talked about what to bring to a rehearsal and how to prepare before a rehearsal. So today we're talking about what to do during the rehearsal. To review, you should bring some things with you. For example, like a tuner and a metronome, and maybe even a recording device. But how do you use those during a rehearsal? So for the tuner, you can use it to check certain notes and make sure you are in tune. But what you really want to do is you really want to focus on tuning with the entire group. All right? It's not just about how well you can be in tune with the tuner. It's how well you can be in tune with the other group members. Also, a metronome is really nice to have. There will be difficult sections that will be really hard to put together. And the one thing that you can do to make sure you can successfully put your parts together is put on a metronome. It's always useful. And lastly, having a recording device at the rehearsal is absolutely fantastic because it allows you to record your rehearsal and listen back to it later. One thing to remember though is whenever you record a rehearsal, always send that recording to your other group members as well. They will want to hear it too. And you can get a different perspective from your own based on the recording. My topic is eye contact. So it seems rather simple, but um, I'm here to give a reminder to be sure to look at all of the members of the quintet when you're speaking or when you're cueing, making sure that everybody is ready. I would like to talk about what to say, what not to say. Any offensive comments won't help the group succeed. Uh, for example, um, like uh, for example, uh, that passage doesn't to get doesn't together each other. Can you play one more time? And for good, another example, one not to say, oh, you you're totally out of tune, or uh, your rhythm is like just horrible like that. It it won't help the group succeed. And you, your job is to play your part, not someone else's. During rehearsal, keep an open mind. Don't take your opinions and ideas for granted. Listen to what the other members of your quintet have to say, and you will realize that great ideas and creative decisions can come up from a healthy discussion. Now, lastly, make sure when you are talking in a rehearsal that you don't take things personally. What a group member might say to you isn't about you personally. It's about trying to make the music better. A great thing that I like to think about is check the ego at the door as you come in. So that way you're not thinking about this is about me, but this is about the whole group and making the group sound better. Thank you so much. Good luck on your rehearsals. Thank you.